Rothstein down the outside. Oh, they're protesting the brakes. Rabbit's later on the brakes. Can he hold it down the inside as they get turned in? Rabbit leads. Holstein second. Brennan third. Then it's somebody. Is that uh, Keith Rabbit up there next? It's Rob Butler next up. Then Burdock in there too. Some great shuffle down into turn one, John. Yeah, you Holstein got right alongside him, but the uh, wily fox that is Rabbit just kept that inside line all the way down into the first corner and was able to turn in ahead of Holstein. Rob Butler in third place. Philip Burdock in fourth place. Keith Rabbit, superb stuff from him. Then it's Bailey, then Eric Carroll. Side by side is, uh, is this Donnan next up? I think it is. Rob Savage just displacing him. Donnan in that more or less newly built car. Then Ian Radford. Radford looking like he's going to have a go down the inside of Donnan. Down the inside of the brakes. Doesn't quite make it on that occasion. No contact there just yet. They're all being pretty well behaved, even though we're missing a few, John. Yeah, apologies for those on the main straight and... Uh, the supercharger on that Golf. It's uh, forced induction of a different kind. Doesn't it sound absolutely superb as it goes by us? Philip Burdock going well, and you'd expect Burdock's car to be possibly a little bit quicker than Rob Butler's car. Burdock looking down the inside, Butler closes the door though. Then it's Keith Rabbit going really well, Rob Savage going by us too, and Savage recovering. But look at these two, great battle between Radford now and Donnan and the two Integras, 12 and 55 as they go by us. So all a little bit spread out by Irish touring car standards, but it's not over just yet, they're just getting going. But uh, Barry Rabbit really pushing hard. Time's not down to qualifying times just yet. Uh, Phil Brennan, never discount him. Phil Brennan will uh, up the pace bit by bit by bit, and uh, three seconds isn't a whole lot if he can begin. Rob Butler in third place, Philip Burdock in fourth place, Keith Rabbit, superb stuff from him. Then it's Bailey, then Eric Carroll. Side by side is, uh, is this Donnan next up? I think it is. Rob Savage just displacing him. Donnan in that more or less newly built car. Then Ian Radford. Radford looking like he's going to have a go down the inside of Donnan. Down the inside of the brakes, doesn't quite make it on that occasion. No contact there just yet. They're all being pretty well behaved, even though we're missing a few, John. Yeah, apologies for those on the main straight and... Uh, the supercharger on that Golf, it's uh, forced induction of a different kind. Doesn't it sound absolutely superb as it goes by us? Philip Burdock going well, and you'd expect Burdock's car to be possibly a little bit quicker than Rob Butler's car. Burdock looking down the inside, Butler closes the door though. Then it's Keith Rabbit going really well, Rob Savage going by us too, and Savage recovering. But look at these two, great battle between Radford now and Donnan and the two Integras, 12 and 55 as they go by us. So all a little bit spread out by Irish touring car standards, but it's not over just yet, they're just getting going. But uh, Barry Rabbit really pushing hard. Time's not down to qualifying times just yet. Uh, Phil Brennan, never discount him. Phil Brennan will uh, up the pace bit by bit by bit, and uh, three seconds isn't a whole lot. We thought this might happen. Begin. Brennan closing down, Rabbit at the front. Back up to third. Right. Gets turned in. Gotta say, a cracker of a move there by Phil Burdock. No locking wheels and uh, no contact, just down the inside. That was a superb move. Yeah, Robert and Carl this time, and oh, he's gone wide, unfortunately, that Integra. And he's lost the place into Dublin, into uh, the first corner, uh, down towards Furry Glen. That's a good battle, it's right away down the field, despite the fact that we're missing one or two. But uh, interesting to see if uh, Brenner can pull in. Now he was 0.3 of a second behind last time. Now it's uh, two and a half seconds, and he's got four laps. Okay, three in which now getting up to temperature, beginning as we said to stretch his legs. Here comes Robin. He's closer again this time. Phil Brennan definitely closer. And is he sideways? Oh, out onto the grass. Phil Brennan beginning to push, 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 and closer to the golf this time. Rabbit goes through 15.5. 15.7, no, 15 dead, so another half second gone out of it, it's 1.8 seconds now, as Philip Brennan closes down the leader, Barry Rabbit, in the supercharged race to race Volkswagen Golf. Uh, great battle here for second, for third and fourth place. Yeah, yeah Rob Butler now trying to have a go back at Burdock, the two handles, Butler looks down the inside, this is a good hard battle between these two, Burdock so late on the brakes, Butler goes back to the outside to try and get a run at him out of the corner, doesn't work on that occasion, Burdock hangs on to it. Keith Rabbit, Rob Savage down towards first corner as well. They're having a good old battle. Savage just gets it on the inside there. Savage, of course, on full six. Rabbit's car is a touring car. Is a touring class car. Oh, he's on a uh, treaded Yokohama tire, but that doesn't make as much difference here as it does at Mandela Park. It's all about the straights here, really, John. Three laps to go. Last time around, 1.8 seconds. So he. He's what, 1.2, he's pulled back in the last two laps, is that enough? With Phil laps? Brennan is finding lots of time, oh, Rabbit's so quick through the chicane. He's pulling everything out here to try and fight off the attack from the big engine BMW. Yeah, Phil Burdock is pulled away now from uh, Robert Butler. There goes uh, Carol Savage and Keith Rabbit in the middle of that, and the Honda 
Civic and then David Bailey. They're your top eight as they go through with two laps to go. But that time difference was three seconds. It's 1.1 now. And we're on our penultimate lap. Burdock and Butler flash by us in third and fourth place. They're pretty much locked together. Had their own individual duels right throughout. We're on the last lap, remember. There goes Eric Carroll, Rob Savage through. The integra of Keith uh, Rabbits and David Bailey pass by the top eight through. Okay, waiting for the leaders now. And again, John Kenny and myself in the commentary box find ourselves crouching down, looking in under the trees to see who it's going to be. Nowhere, Hi. borrowing a car. Roll Rabbit it is, but Brennan's right with him. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Barry Rabbit leads. Phil Brennan right with him. Who's got the brake horsepower now? 